to the, to the highest mountains in the Philippines, Mount Apo. experience a trek that is 10,311 feet above sea level in this majestic and the so-called grandfather of Philippine mountains. But before we start and for you to appreciate the adventure better, we'd like to proudly share with you some facts about Mount Apo. Mount Apo Natural Park has a total land area of 64,053 hectares and is located between the spanning provinces of Davao del Sur in Region 11 and North Cotabato in Region 12. It was declared as one of the ASEAN heritage sites in the Philippines in 2003 because of its unique biodiversity and ecosystems. Mount Apo possesses numerous habitat types that shelter a variety of endemic species of flora and fauna, including the country's critically endangered and iconic bird of prey, the Philippine Eagle. Mount Apo is also home to the three major indigenous people in Mindanao, mostly Manobos, Bagobos, and Klata tribes. They consider Mount Apo sacred in a burial ground of Apo Sandawa their great forefather, to which we also regard with respect. Mount Apo is also declared as a protected area through Republic Act 9237, which means that this natural resource is strictly and carefully managed for purposes of conservation, preservation, and protection. That is why Mount Apo is under the governance of the Protected Area Management Board or PAMB, which ensures that it is highly and sustainably managed. Mount Apo is also one of the initial components of the Philippines National Integrated Protected Areas or NIPAS through the enactment of Republic Act number 7586. So why are we telling you all this? Because we wanted you to be aware of Mount Apo's importance and we want you to be watchful of your actions as you enter this sacred mountain. Yes, in fact, as much as we wanted you to enjoy the entire trekking and climbing experience, we also have policies for you to follow in order to maintain the fragile state of Mount Apo. Please pay attention. First, you must secure your permit to climb. No permit, no climb. Hiring of professional guides and porters is mandatory. Water resources are strictly for cooking and drinking only. Using it for bath, washing, and other activities is not allowed. Zero waste policy is strictly imposed. Trekkers, porters, and guides must bring back all the garbage generated during the trek. Trekking group must have a trowel for use in proper boring of human waste. In order to prevent fire, cooking should only be done using portable camping stoves with brand new butane containers and not refilled. Use of firewood is strictly prohibited. Campfires are strictly prohibited in the campsites and other areas of Mount Apo. Swimming in Lake Venado is not allowed. Strictly no camping at the summit because it is part of the strict protection zone of Mount Apo. Maximum of 50 persons per day are allowed to trek. Vandalism and cutting of trees are strictly prohibited. Collecting and destroying flora and fauna are strictly prohibited. As well as collecting of rocks, sulfur, and other mineral deposits. It is also not allowed to bring bolo or knives beyond 3 inches in length. More so, Nudity and indecent activities are strictly prohibited. Violators to these policies will be imposed with corresponding penalties as provided for in the Mount Apo Protected Act of 2003 or RA 9237 and other related laws. Fine payment, apprehension or imprisonment as well as the possibility to be banned or blacklisted to climb Mount Apo are among the said penalties. But of course, that's part to happen. 
to show some love to our dearest Mount Abu and follow our tracking policies. Correct! And again, while we welcome you to the country's highest peak, we expect you to be one with us in our cause to save and protect this wonderful natural heritage by being a responsible trekker or mountaineer. And always remember our golden rule, take, take nothing, nothing but, but pictures, pictures, leave nothing, nothing but, but footprints, footprints, and kill nothing but, but time. time. So that's it. Thank you and take care of our Mount Apple. Apple.